What's up guys? Today we are going to talk about fall water temperatures and what that means for your bass fishing. And stay tuned till the end because I'm going to tell you about my favorite fall fishing lure. Let's go. Hey, welcome back guys here to a Bass and Brews. And today, we're gonna talk about fall water temperatures. So what's happening to the water here and how is that gonna change what those bass are doing? When is fall pattern really happening in your lake? Uh, try to think about it as say, uh, when the water temperatures start to hit 10 degrees under what the highest water temperature was during the summer. So out here in the Midwest, um, our highest was about 80 this year, so around 70 is really going to be when we're going to hit that, that fall pattern. So um, I'd say, you know, so if you start out with those 70s, all right, that's going to be when, that's really that like transitional period. Uh, fish are starting to, starting to realize, hey, summer's over, we got to start looking at, you know, winter. So, you know, they're going to start transitioning out of some of those deeper holes that they were in during the summer and start moving up, starting to think about chasing bait balls. Um, but this transition period in the 70s can be a little bit more difficult than later on because they're they're really transitioning, right? They might be shallower, that might be deeper, then that might change depending upon the day, you know, or weather or anything like that. So they're, it's a little bit more difficult to pinpoint them in those 70s than it is, say, you know, later on in the year. So, you know, definitely keep those uh, electronics out, check some of that, you know, deeper water, check the, you know, shallower water. Um, but, you know, you're definitely gonna wanna start thinking about, you know, moving away from fishing on the bottom. They're pro they should hopefully be looking to be eating a little bit higher up in the water column. So that's that 70s for you. Uh, as we start moving into the 60s, now we're really into really into fall pattern here for sure. Um, out here right now, our water temperature is 68 on the lake that I'm currently on. So we're definitely you know right into that uh, you know fall pattern. Um, we're we're still almost on the edge of transition because maybe this lake when he got up to say 78. So we're 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 still close. So you know still take a peek deeper, but they should be chasing those bait balls for sure. Um, at this time, you know, it's almost more important to find those bait balls than it is to have these fish on specific structure. So if you find the bait, chase the bait, you should hopefully be finding those fish. Uh, as the, the water temperature starts to drop here as well, our weeds are going to start to die off a bit. So make sure you take a look and make sure you're fishing the greenest weeds. Um, and that's going to be more important later on. Uh, as we move down into the 50s, uh, that's where you're really going to need to find some of those green weeds. Um, you know, these fish are going to be really feeling that winter's coming. So they're hopefully still, you know, really active, still trying to fatten up for winter. Um, but as they kind of get to the 50s, it's this is kind of that transition back out period. So they're going to start, you know, maybe looking at going back to their deeper stuff where they're actually going to stay for the winter. So, you know, you're gonna really want those electronics here around the uh, 50s, um, maybe seeing them out a little bit deeper, you know, around the, the, the first break. Um, but uh, they're also gonna kind of start schooling up with the other bass in the area. So if you can find them, you should be finding a lot of them, but if you can't find them, it's gonna be hard to catch them. So, you know, really, uh, Really try to find them there with your electronics. That should help you out for sure. And then as we then then get down into the 40s, I mean we're getting we're getting kind of kind of time to wrap it up here. Um, they're you know they're really out in the in those kind of winter areas now. They're going to be really condensed. Um, still stay all, still are catchable if you're able to find them, but finding them is going to be tough. And you know they're so condensed that just you know fan casting things isn't going to be your your friend for sure. But uh, 40 degrees, we're we're getting close to, to hard water at that point, so it's it's going to be tough. But you can still find them. Now let's talk about fall lures. So as we start looking at those fish that are following bay balls, right? We're going to be a little bit higher up in the water column. 
Tap water can be really good for you. So really good tap water, one of my favorites is the Zero Spook, right? So this guy, you walk the dog on, um, on that, that tap water, you can cover a lot of water. It's got a great action, a lot of fish just seem to love it. It's got a nice rattle in it. So it's gonna call fish in and it could even call them up from those depths. Even if say they're chasing around 10 feet down, this could call them up, no problem. Um, another really good one is your crankbaits. So this, you know, you try to find where those those ball baits are, get a crankbait that's gonna dive right down to there and you should be good. Uh, but my number one favorite lure for fall fishing is jerk bait. This guy right here, this guy is gonna be your best friend in fall time. Uh, you can cover a decent amount of water with here. That action of that dying bait fish, you know, with that jerk in there is just gonna set them off. And uh, you can catch a lot of a lot of fish on jerk baits in the fall. So I really recommend getting out there and trying these guys. Uh, this guy is uh, kind of a mega bass type of a, a profile on here, but don't have to go out and buy $25 jerk baits. You can get ones that are similar to this um, right here on your Amazons or anything like that that uh, aren't going to cost you 25 bucks. But any kind of jerk bait will, will work great for you. Um, the, the size of that lip is going to kind of determine how deep it's going to fall. Uh, suspended jerk baits are my favorite for sure. It just it looks like a dying fish in the water. Fantastic. So there you have it. That's going to be your fall temperatures, fall water temperatures and what that means for you. So hopefully this, this helps and get out there this fall and get yourself some fish. And you know what we say, can't catch a fish, you can always catch a buzz. That's some bruise.